Hello guys, it's me and Billy Ariel. And we need to do a review on the SpongeBob episode, Man Ray Returns. And we can do our, our review ourselves without our little SpongeBob friend. Hey SpongeBob, how about you introduce how about you introduce yourself to the group? Hey guys, I'm from SpongeBob SquarePants. I came back from the Clifford Clam and now I'm playing you know, Patrick and Squidward. Well, off to my job. I'm just kidding, he'll stay off for the review. Anyway, so we're gonna review the SpongeBob episode. Man Ray Returns. So this is the, uh, what's the, what's the, see, how many sequels have I been there? Um, so okay, it's 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15. Ah, blah, blah, This is the 17th episode with them. Alright, this is the 17th episode with Mary Man and Barnacle Bar Bar Boy. Okay, so besides, because if you don't count Bitchin, this is their 18th appearance in the show. Would that... With the villains, whatever. So anyways, here's a return of the SpongeBob episode, um, SpongeBob character, Man Ray. So, that's now this episode. So this episode begins with you, SpongeBob, are out with the, are out the spying on Squidward's house with Patrick, but then an old lady steals Patrick's wallet. What? Now I'm trying to out tell Patrick. Oh, by the way, I'll show you guys my Patrick plushie toy when I review the episode, when I reviewed, rank all the Marine Bargo episodes. Good news! Yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, Squidward's leaving the house, and next one for Patrick are very sad, so they come to Squidward's house, and they just cry around and whatever, and then Squidward's all mad about them and wondering, like, why are you going? So he tells us for Patrick to go away, and then and then he's actually letting someone rent his house while he's on vacation. So this one from Patrick, um, I decide to not to bother the neighbor, but of course, <laughs> You, SpongeBob, are always bothering your neighbor, so they just uh, bother the neighbor instead. So the neighbor, the neighbor is now Man Ray. He's now renting the house, and then um, SpongeBob Patrick believe that he's like a, a random neighbor because he doesn't look like Man Ray. But then sooner or later they find out that uh, he's Man Ray, and they decide to reward Merman and Barkle Boy. So this is where it turns to a Merman Barkle Boy episode, where they see their, you know what uh, SpongeBob Patrick calls them as. Um, frozen corpses, but Patrick thinks they just murdered Barnacle Boy Ice Pops. So essentially, they, they just uh, essentially it turns out they're not actually frozen or whatever. They're just uh, having their like long time naps. And so uh, this episode, oh, I forgot to mention, and this is the the second episode without Ernest Borgnine as as uh, Mermaid Man. So rest in peace, Mermaid Man. Yeah, it's sad, right? Yeah, it's sad. Anyways. Anyways, uh, yeah, they steal the rings and then um, they just uh, vanish off and then spun and remember and Barkle Boy wake up, open their eyes and then we cut to SpongeBob Patrick fighting off Man Ray. So this is the part where it turns to Home Alone where SpongeBob Patrick used a bunch of uh, techniques to defeat Man Ray, but then um, Man Ray somehow uh, stops them and and this is the probably the best part of the episode where the final battle hits and then. And then they, they decide to attack them in the rain, attack them in the rain, and that's probably the best shot of the entire episode. So yeah, more of the breeze and Squidward's house starts to start to get destroyed, and then Man Ray leaves the house, and then uh, he starts to, um, that the that the villains never take a vacation. So they, he leaves, and then uh, Special Patrick clean Squidward's house with their own saliva. Yup, right? Yeah, it's yuck. Anyway, so Squidward comes back home, and then. His house destroys. This is actually the worst part of the episode. I did not like this part where Skirmish's house gets destroyed. It's kind of a forced moment for a comedy, but that doesn't uh, need to be deserved because he barely does anything in the episode and he's just only there for the beginning and a few snippets around in the middle and appears at the end. So yeah, definitely a disappointment for the ending of the episode. So that's definitely the worst part. Anyways, SpongeBob, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this episode? I think it's awesome. I give it up. 9 out of 10. For me, I give it an 8.5 out. I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, this is this actually is a, a good return for Man Ray after the kind of disappointment episode in Super Evil Fight Long Time Episode. What are you talking about? Every episode of these good. Sorry, it's 12, but there's a few bad episodes like this in your show. Anyway, so, yeah. Okay, SpongeBob, you can go to the Krusty Krab now. That's a reference to Not Normal, guys. Where he's uh, doing a typewriter and then uh, he's cooking on a typewriter, he's in a typewriter, whatever. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, this is definitely on the uh Definitely, I'm not like, uh, on like my favorite episodes list of Marine Barkable episodes, but there's also kind of the disappointment also. Because, uh, in the, because the plot doesn't really make sense why Man Ray would rent Squidward's house over the weekend. Like, uh, shouldn't he, like, uh, rent up, like, in a hotel or something? Uh, it doesn't really get explained why Man Ray would actually stay in Squidward's house. He could have stayed in the hotel or, or something. But, uh, but alas, we got this plot instead. And, and there's some really weird random parts, like besides the whole destruction of his house, Scribbler's house thing, there's a random part with, with the adult lady still in Patrick's Swamp. And we never see her for the rest of the episode, they just that one gag and that's it. I just didn't like that gag at all, I just felt forced, I guess. <laughs> and um... And I wish um... The, the whole Malone traps, whatever thing that the homo references in the episode, I wish it were done better, I guess, because they just use Scribbler's house as a... As weapons, so they sound cool, but how they actually fight the main race is actually not really that, that interesting as the previous old Mary Markle episodes back in the 90s. I mean, in early 2000s, also. Overall, Memory Returns is a decent sequel to Super Evil Part of Blunting Up as Go and Mary Fans, but overall, it's not really the best of the, of the franchise. To me, um, I guess this is better than Super Evil Part of Blunting Up as Go, but uh, in terms of being better than Mary Pants, You'll find out in the ranking video, so yeah. Spongebob, how was your day at the Crazy Crab? Yes, yeah. was, it was great. Mr. Crab's gave me a paycheck, and he only gave me one penny. Yeah, Mr. Crab's a cheapskate. Anyways, yeah, what do you guys think of my collaboration with Spongebob and myself, and uh, my review of this episode? Comment down below and tell me your thoughts, and uh, yeah, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.